the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video abacus division how important the quotient setting rule is let us take the example 625 divided by 6 and demonstrate how important the quotient setting rule is in getting the correct quotient and the remainder let us set the divisor in the extreme left of the abacus and set the dividend in the extreme right of the abacus that is the highest digit 6 is set in the hundreds column 2 in the tens column and 5 in the units column let us explore the divisor and the first digit of the dividend and in this case both are 6 the quotient setting rule says that whenever the divisor is less than or equal to that of the highest digit of the dividend we have to skip a column to the left of the dividend and uh, set the first digit of the quotient by following this rule let us ask how many sixes in 6 by saying 1 let us set the quotient uh, by skipping a column to the left of 6 uh, of the dividend that is the 1 is set in the 10000s column now 1 and 6 must be multiplied and the value 6 is cleared from the 6 of the dividend the first level division is over and now we have two beats in the tens column and five in the units column that means we are left with number 25 unlike other problems we have a typical situation here where there are two columns to the left between the quotient and the remaining numbers to be divided again we have to remind the quotient setting rule if we take this as a separate division the divisor 6 is greater than 2 which is the first digit of the dividend and therefore there is no need to skip a column to the left of 2 6 is greater than 2 and therefore we have to go to the two digit number 25 for the purpose of division now ask how many sixes in 25 by saying 4 we set the 4 to the immediate left of the number 2 that is in the hundreds column and subtract 24 from 25 that means we clear 2 from the tens column and for reducing 4 from the units column we have to clear 5 and add 1 in the units column we have to check the result now we already mentioned that one column is automatically skipped between the quotient and the remainder in the division problem therefore the natural separator of the quotient and the remainder is the one in the tens column all numbers in the quotient area which are to the left of the tens column indicate the quotient and therefore we have one has the highest digit of the quotient zero as the next digit followed by four and therefore the quotient is 104 and the remainder is 1 hope uh, this exercise gives unique experience to the child and also reveals the importance of applying the quotient setting rule with the utmost attention as there are two zeros one zero is part of the quotient and another zero is separating the quotient and the remainder as per the quotient setting rule